All right, so hi guys, I'm having LCP issues on my site. What plugin should I use to solve it? I don't even know what LCP is, to be honest. What's, what's LCP? Oh. Habik, if you're here, what is LCP? LCP SCR. I had one of those. Largest content, con largest contentful paint. <laughs> Sounds like something we should probably know, but uh, let's go ahead and learn it all together, guys. You know, we're not we're not the encyclopedia, I guess, that we wish to be. So it's a I'm user experience metric. Um, we're just yeah, a beak. If you're still here and you wanted to give us some more info on what LCP is. Uh, Please do, because we don't really know what. There he is. Oh, oh that's never mind. Chris. Um, LCP is a measurement of how long it takes for the main content of a page to download and be ready to be interacted. Oh, so, so page speed issues, okay. right? Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so. Yeah. So I think we could help with this. Hopefully, I mean, I think if we dive into page speed, that should. All right, so hi guys, I'm having LCP issues on my site. What plugin should I use to solve that? So if you're just talking about page speed, um, yeah, he says largest contentful pane. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, we usually use uh, Rocket. Rocket attached to a CDN like Cloudflare. Um, you know, you can hire people on Fiverr to do this for you uh, real quickly. Um, it's not terribly hard either to jump on YouTube and learn how to do it, but. Um, uh, Rocket connects really well to uh, something like Cloudflare, and um, that's going to solve a ton of your page speed issues just right out of the gate. Now there's a million tweaks yeah. you can do while in there. Um, Rocket you know. Rocket itself is actually pretty simple. Um, I, I actually prefer it to uh, what was the other one? W3. W3. Yeah, W3. Yeah, it's complex. D yeah, W3 is probably superior, but mm -hmm. like it's but it's, it's insanely super complex. complex yeah. yeah. So um, unless you're like really into this stuff, I'd recommend uh, going with something more like Rocket, and then uh, yes, yeah. WP Rocket. Yeah, WP Rocket. Sorry, and then um, yeah, getting a CDN as well. Yeah, if, uh, I mean, just right out of the gate, if you do that, you're gonna eliminate so many of your um, speed issues. Yeah, we actually um, did it with Sir Links a lot uh, mm -hmm. not too long ago because our, our load times were getting pretty bad. Um, and and yeah, just um, just using WP Rocket and getting on a CDN. Um, I mean, we're in the we're in the green like yeah. A's. Um, and yeah, with, there's really no um, tech secrets or anything on that. It's just we hooked up to these two things and it it was yeah, fixed. Yeah, boom. Yeah, we're happy. <laughs> it's good enough. Um, as far as um, I, I feel like uh, people might um, overthink how important. Uh, page speed is though, um, I, in in my opinion, it's don't be horrible. Dude, yeah, it, you know if if you're hitting C's even, and I mean that might be a little exaggeration, but if you're hitting B's, C's, whatever, um, don't lose hair over it. Um, it's not going to stop you from ranking and uh, doing okay. You want to consider more about fixing that kind of stuff when you're worried about CTR user experience things that I guess you're talking about right now, right? But uh, from an SEO perspective, you know, get it to where it loads up quick enough to, you know, not seem like a dead website. Um, but yeah, if you just if you do what we just said, you're going to be worlds apart from where you are if you haven't implemented anything yet. Shout out to Chris Patterson. Let's go.